Hi hey guys, we're gonna start um, by reading an article, uh, Bad Dad Jokes from Newzella. Let me go ahead and pull up my article so you guys can see it also. Okay. They post daily bad dad jokes in front yard. People groan but love it. Maryland government has offered people to has ordered people to stay home. It is trying to slow the spread of COVID-19. COVID-19 is also called coronavirus. It is a new illness. There's no treatment yet. This has been a stressful time for the Schroben family. Ann and Tom Schroben live in Kingston, Maryland with their 11-year-old daughter, Darcy. One day, Schroben noticed her husband was a little grumpy. Tom is usually a cheerful guy. He likes, he likes to tell jokes. Darcy gave him a book for, of jokes for Christmas. Anne heard a friend was posting daily jokes in her front of her house. She told Tom to do, he should do the same thing. At first, Tom was not interested. However, in late April, he grabbed a whiteboard. At the top, he wrote bad dad jokes. Then underneath, he wrote a joke. Hold on, I have something in my shoe. I'm pretty sure it's a foot. The first laugh was so satisfying. On April 17th, he set the whiteboard in front of his house. Soon after, he heard a chuckle from outside. Once he got the, his first laugh, it was so satisfying to him, said Anne. The next morning, he wrote his second bad dad joke. Without geometry, life is pointless, it said. <clears throat> he heard people laughing as they walked by. Walked by. He, some called out, and said how much they liked the jokes. Others stayed for a chat. Each morning since, he has put a new joke. His mood has improved. It surprised me how much it made my mood better, said Tom. I feel like I'm contributing a little bit to other people's happiness. <clears throat> the joke on day four was, what do you call a bear with no teeth? A gummy bear. A woman strolls by each day. She told Tom when he gets home, she calls her granddaughter. When she gets home, she calls her granddaughter to tell her the joke. That makes my day, he said. The Shrobans talk each day about which joke to display. They look through the joke book or sometimes make a joke up. On one joke from the book has caused, caused much discussion. On day eight, he wrote, I ordered a chicken and an egg from Amazon. I'll let you know. Mona McNeil saw the chicken and egg joke on a walk. It was her, it made her laugh. She thought it was clever. She has been telling other people the joke since. You have to find something great in all this, in this mess, McNeil said. Giving people a break from their troubles. This is a view this is the view of life Tom and Anne try to have while going through tough times. They make an effort to seek out things that make them feel happy. Anne said they try to find joy where they can. So if a silly dad joke does that for them and others, they intend to keep doing it. Everyone was so stressed with all this virus and quarantine, Tom said. I thought it would be a great idea to give people a break from that. Shake them up, money momentarily to take their mind off the troubles just for a minute. Tom said he plans to continue putting the jokes out until the virus is over. He might even keep doing it after. Okay, so we are gonna take a quiz, four questions. I'll have you go ahead and grab a piece of paper and a pencil, please, and write your name on the top. I'll give you a second to do that. Okay, question number one. Why did Ann Schroben suggest Tom Schroben do should start posting dad jokes? A, because Darcy gave him a joke book. B, because Ann liked telling daily jokes. C, because neighbors were walking by. Or D, because Tom was feeling grumpy. So I'll give you a second to pick which one you think fits the best of why she suggested her husband starts posting the dad jokes.
All right, let's go ahead and show the answer. And it is D, because Tom was feeling grumpy. Number two, how did Tom's jokes affect his neighbors? A, the neighbors started posting their own jokes outside. B, the neighbors started sharing the joke with other people. C, the neighbors started staying at home during quarantine. Or D, the neighbors started feeling more stressed about the virus. So which one of these do you think is the reason why or how the jokes affected other people? And the answer is B. The neighbors started sharing the jokes with other people. Number three, read the paragraph from this section. His first laugh was so satisfying. It surprised me how much it made my mood better, Tom said. Said Tom, I feel like I'm contributing a little bit to other people's happiness. Which word could replace contributing without changing the meaning of the sentence? So let's read that sentence one more time. Surprised me how much it made my mood better, said Tom. I feel like I'm contributing a little bit to other people's happiness. So A, adding, B, paying, C, learning, or D, collecting. So I'll give you a second. And it's A, A adding. So if we read that now with our new word, surprised me how much it made my mood better, said Tom. I feel like I'm adding a little bit to other people's happiness. All right, question number four. Read the sentence in the section, giving people a break from their troubles. I thought it would be a good idea to give people a break from that. Shake them up momentarily and take their mind off their troubles just for a minute. What does a phrase shake them up mean? A, scare people. B, surprise people. C, make things faster. Or D, move things around. So let's go to read our sentence one more time because they want to know what shake it up, the phrase shake it up means. Shake them up, I'm sorry. I thought it would be a good idea to give people a break from that. Shake them up momentarily and take their mind off their troubles just for a minute. So which phrase do you think shake them up means? All right, B, surprise people. Okay, so that is the end of our story. Um, go ahead and write your name at the top of your paper if you haven't already, and go ahead and turn uh, your paper into your cottage staff. Thank you so much, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.